Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing the raw cauliflower roast. Um, I don't really follow recipes, so I thought a video would be the best way to do this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how I prep the cauliflower, what spices I put on it, and then I'll show you it at the end. And then um, I'm also going to show you all the stuff that we serve with it. So let's get right into the prep. So to start off, we're just going to get a bowl full of water with salt to soak our cauliflower in. Um, and then you can see me here taking the first cauliflower and open up the packaging. This week they actually came um, in packaging. Last week they were plastic free. Um, and then I'm just going to go in ahead and cut off all of the leaves. Um, usually the leaves come in bad condition so we don't really cook with them. And it also blocks the... Uh, middle cracks to the cauliflower so here I'm just cutting all of the leaves off you I can gonna show you a nicer angle there we go um, yeah so you just cut all of the leaves off and then after that's done you can use a small knife to like get right in um, and then after that's done I usually also cut off like any excess stem because that's usually quite hard um, it doesn't cook very well so yeah there we go and then that's one cauliflower prepped and ready so yeah there we go then we just did the other four so you'll need the juice of about two to three lemons depending on how big they are but i'm going to try and measure the amount of juice that i use um after i juice them so you can just safely cut these lemons in half And then I'm gonna juice them. Shusha is actually a lifesaver. I got it off of Take A Lot. I think it's Melaware. Um, before that, I used to literally just like use my hand to like <laughs> squish out as much lemon juice as I could. Um, but this electric one is so easy to use, and yeah, it's probably one of my favorite gadgets. Okay, cool. So now um, all of our cauliflowers have been prepped and soaked in salt water, and I actually keep them upside down in the tray because when, once I make the sauce, I put it in upside down first so it goes through all the little like cracks and then i flip them over and then i put sauce on so i'm just going to put this to the side while we make the sauce um, or the marinade or whatever you want to call it so basically i end up doing five of those tiny little lemons um and it comes to about 125 milliliters i would say put that put that right in to the bowl and then um, it takes a considerable amount of olive oil, but also consider that it's four cauliflowers. I'm gonna say it's probably like a third of a cup of olive oil that I do. Maybe I might even be a bit more generous sometimes than that. Um, so we'll start with a third of a cup, but I think it might be more than that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I usually do more than that. But we'll start with a third of the cup. Then, normally I do have capers, but I forgot to get them this week because I thought we still had them last week. Um, but normally I would now chop up about half a jar, of, a third or half a jar of capers, and I put it in here and like squish them in. Um, tastes really, really good, but it's okay if you don't have them. Um, then also recently I have been doing like fresh garlic and it's so what I actually do is I like squish the, the garlic clove and then like push them into the cauliflower, um, which tastes really, really good. And then I put it like around the cauliflower, but um, we only have crushed garlic and ginger. So I'm just going to add maybe like two tablespoons of that right now to the mixture. I'm struggling with help. <laughs> it's hard, eh? I have an opened <laughs> container of garlic and ginger. I'm going to start with two tablespoons, but I'm also very heavy handed when it comes to ginger, but because, I mean, garlic, but because there's ginger in here, I think I'm going to stick to two tablespoons. I'm just going to mix that in. The last thing you want is too little. Oh, that's too much. It's fantastic. Too little. E. <laughs> having technical difficulties <laughs> just mix your lemon juice olive oil oh, no. <laughs> recording all of this i can't remember okay, 
so I only use three spices for this mix. I use some mixed herbs. You can use fresh herbs. You have fresh herbs. Um, um, paprika. Little paprika. And then I got this from Macro. It's my best friend. <laughs> it is a kg of steak and chopped spice. It is the best spice that has ever existed. I put it in liter quite literally everything. Um, and then some Himalayan salt. But you're on your own with that one. I am terrible at salt and some black pepper i'm gonna go in with the paprika first i'm gonna do like three tablespoons what? I am a noob. Okay, mix in the paprika. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with three tablespoons of steak and chops. And then we don't really have that many, so much of this. So I would guesstimate that at a tablespoon. Oh, it smells really good though. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. I don't know. I just. I don't know. I'm gonna start with like a tablespoon, you know? Not even. Like three quarter of a tablespoon. And um, see some pepper. <laughs> For the rest of my life, I do about 200 degrees Celsius in the oven because basically I'll do like 20 minutes without foil, 20 minutes with foil, 20 minutes without foil um, to get it nice. These polyfoils are a lot bigger than I anticipated, so we'll have to see how that goes. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more olive oil. There we go. And remember, it's okay if this tastes a bit strong. It will taste a bit strong. But cauliflower essentially has very little taste. So you want this to like really soak into the cauliflower and there's a lot of surface area for it to get through. So even if it is a bit sour, even if the spices taste like it is a bit much, even if the garlic tastes like it's a bit much, at the end of the day, it probably won't taste like that much. But anyway, let's get this onto the cauliflower so we can get into the oven because it's still going to take an hour and it is hot this time. Okay, so I'm a little bit of a rebel and I don't actually often wait for the oven to heat up. Um, so I'm just going to put in the cauliflower. Um, this is what it looks like. We had to cut it up a bit because it was not going to fit. So it's in. Um, do not wash up this bowl just yet. So I do um, like a fajita mix with pepper. Um, so I'm going to do a red pepper and some onions. So when I cut the onions, I always throw it into my marinade bowl and I like mush it around so that it gets all of the rest of the spices. Um, and then we also make um, a hummus. So we used to always just use like two cans of chickpeas, but um, so we had to use a butter bean and a chickpea and it comes out so much thicker and like the texture is so much better. So now we always do one can of chickpeas, one can of butter beans, and then we always add some mayo in it to make it a little bit creamy. So I also do that, um, and then I like to eat it with pizza, um, but it really is quite filling on its own. So it looks after about 15 minutes in the oven, um, and then I take it out about two to three times and just coat it in the juices, um, just to make sure it gets maximum flavor and then this is how it looks when it's done and it's out of the oven um these are the this is the fajita mix and this is the hummus i hope you guys enjoyed